how to manage a breakup now. First of all, this year, when you finalise the decision like this, be alright with being by yourself. That's the first thing. The reason for that is, okay, if you go out now, yeah, looking for someone else, you know what's going to happen, okay? If you become unsatisfied, all right, with this kind of decision, you may uh, run back to this person. You may run back to the very thing uh, that you did not want, okay? Or even run into it again, all right? So the first thing uh, is be all right with being by yourself. What do you do when you're by yourself? Let me tell you what you do, yeah? Okay? You finish projects, yeah? You work here yeah, on your home life, yeah? You work on your sense of security in your home and even other sectors of your life, yeah? But let's just keep it to the home, yeah? You work on your home life. Okay, it's your security. That's what you do. That's what you do. And um, as well, yeah. So, so say if this person comes back here, yeah, you find yourself, um, you find in yourself, yeah, that you don't, you either don't run into the same problems, yeah. Okay, progression has been made. Or, what ends up happening, okay? Alright, say if you take them back here and they carry on. <laughs> what usually ends up happening, okay, is you've, you've lost interest. You've lost interest now, yeah? Because you've been changing in your own time. Yeah, making these improvements. Okay, that's what you do. So new opportunities here, yeah? they start coming up for you. Better minds, better health, um, better sense of self, and even work opportunities. Yeah. And eventually, yeah, love again. Love again. But especially your self-love. Especially your self-love. Um, yeah, because you've learned from it. So, that's how you manage a breakup. It sounds pretty straightforward, doesn't it? Um, of course, yeah. When you're going through the course of events, all kind of things can come up. Why is that, yeah? Because you see, yeah, when you break up, that's why people say don't go on the rebound. Because when you break up, yeah, you have to, um, you have to heal, yeah, from what happens, yeah. Because I'm guessing, yeah, that when you broke up with someone, you wasn't, uh, let's hope you wasn't in a destructive place, yeah. Let's hope you wasn't. But usually, when things end, someone there in that relationship, they couldn't, um, they couldn't manage anymore. Yeah. So you see, yeah, you need to heal from that person now. A lot of people are scared, yeah, to break up because of that, yeah. They don't want to heal from that person, yeah, or, yeah. Yeah, they're worrying now, yeah. They create some kind of anxiety about the future. But um, I promise you, yeah, better people do come into your life. All right. But how you make this yeah, more likely is that you work on your sense of security. Okay. Your home, yeah. Wellness. Yeah. And you take your time, yeah? You don't overdo anything. Take your time. Finish up projects, yeah? Even start a new one. Like, you'll know when to start new projects too. You'll know. 
um, you'll know, you'll know when something's not serving you anymore, yeah, it gives you that, um, it gives you that sense of assurance, okay, so that's how to manage a breakup, yeah, yeah, because the thing is as well, okay, so, so when you spend time on your own, yeah, all right, you don't go on the rebound, yeah, so, so healing from this person now, yeah, you've learned to manage these various emotions a lot better, because you've had to go through them, <laughs> all right, you've had no choice but to go through them, and, um, you know, I, I think this is as well why people stay in these situations, yeah, because they don't want to go through them emotions, yeah, they've got used to, um, they've got used to feeling like that, <laughs> they've got, you you know, they're, they're unhappy, they're unsatisfied, but, um, they're already feeling pain, you see, so they're afraid, yeah, <laughs> they're afraid of more pain, yeah, no more pain, yeah, 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 but it doesn't last long, all right. It doesn't, yeah. It seem if it, it seems like it does. It feels like it does, but if you just allow yourself to go through it, yeah, through the healing and the bettering of yourself and your home life and becoming stable, no, it's it's you know, it's really not that long at all, yeah. When you look back. Yeah, and you would have seen yourself take leaps and bounds. So so that's why I say as well, yeah. So if this person comes back, you've made leaps and bounds now, you know. So it's going to be very difficult, yeah, for you to accept what they're doing, yeah. What they're doing and, and even them coming back into your life. 